Hello everyone, I'm Xuying. I'm going to talk about our work on online learning based task overloading framework for 5G small cell networks. My presentation is in five parts. First, we briefly talk about the 5G. It's the fifth generation mobile communication technology. Compared to 4G, 5G has a higher transmission rate, faster speeds, and is dense deployment method will make it support a larger number of collections. In 5G network, there is a fundamental element. We call it small cell load. SCN is usually a low power station to provide high transmission speed. Millimeter wave is used in 5G network. Millimeter wave is easily blocked by obstacles. So compared to 4G station, SCN covers a smaller area, but they are deployed closer to wireless devices. Therefore, SCN can process larger amount of data at speeder, at faster time, at faster speeds. This figure is an illustration of small cell network in this area. Error. Many small cells are collected to the micro cell base station. They can communicate with each other. We can find that deploying SCM in 5G network can improve coverage and capacity. They can provide better and faster collectivity. Different from SCM, micro cell has a wide coverage but they are further away from users. 5G boosts the demand for new services, such as security surveillance, virtual reality, automatic driving, and so on. These applications usually generate a huge amount of data and are often delay sensitive. Therefore, due to strict delay and high computing requirements, such surveys are often prioritized to process at the edge rather than at the remote cloud, since, the, since small cells are near to tactical orange. So we call we can we can so they can better meet the strict latency requirements requirements. Now we analyze the features of task of loading from wireless devices. In small, in small cell network, first, due to the physical limitation of 5G, such as millimeter wave channel sparsity, each SCN can only establish a fixed number of collections to accept overload, to accept overloaded tasks. Second, a lower powered SCN may support holding a small edge server with finite, with finite computation resource. Third, there exist uncertainties in the task of loading process. For example, millimeter wave signals are prone to blockage due to weak diffraction capabilities. Once blockage happens, the execution of a task is interrupted. Therefore, an efficient system leads to guarantee its quality of task of loading service. So there is a fundamental problem. Given limited, given limited computation and commu communication resource, how to select computing tasks to maximize effective reward? Here, reward represents the efficiency or quality of 5G network. For example, it can be the task value or computation, commu computation rate. Next. Let's look at our system model. There is, a, there is an MBS and some small cell loads. The MBS controls and prioritizes offloading task to SCN. Each SCN has a limited coverage. SCN is equipped with computing server. They can process tasks from wireless devices. Each task provides its task information such as the set of input data, data, the set of output data, and so on. We call, we call such information 
uh, the task context information. Note that our wireless device may be covered by multiple SCN. The number of tasks to be processed is usually more than SCN collections, so it's necessary to decide which tasks to offload. There, there are three random processes. Uh, one offload, one offload task, I and the SCN, SCNM. First is the aforementioned uh, reward. We denote we denote it as function U. Second is the likelihood for SCNM to complete the task I at time slot T. This captures this captures the unstable communication link between SCN and the wireless device. Such unstable communication is caused by weak pet per by weak penetration, penetration of millimeter wave. We denote it as a function V. The last is resource consumption at SCNM while, while processing task. We denote it as function Q. These ra ra random variables are usually time varying and related to task context information. Therefore, at time t, um, at time slot t, the effective reward per unit resource for SCNM to complete the task with contest file can be calculated based on UVQ. As here we denoted it, it as G. You can see this is a deflation. For convalience, we call we call it compound reward. So our goal is to maximize this total compound reward and the system constraints. Let's talk about the system constraints. First, the number of tasks accepted by HSCN doesn't exceed the commu communication capacity. Second, to improve resource utilization, each task is loaded re it's, each task is loaded repeatedly offloaded by multiple SCN in order to provide QS guarantee. We also need to impose a requirement about the number of successfully processed tasks by each task by each SCN at a, a time slot. Last, each SCN's computing resources are limited, such as CPU RAM. These constraints need to be considered while making task of loading decision. Now we start the algorithm design. Here are some difficulties to solve the, to solve the task of loading problems in 5G network. First, we need to make decisions in an uncertain and stochastic environment because the aforementioned random variables, namely reward, likelihood, and the resource consumption are unknown. They can only be learned after the system of loads and uh, complex and complex tasks. Second, we need to balance between maximizing the total compound reward and, and satisfying the system constraints. Then, how to select the tasks based on historical knowledge? A straightforward approach is to enumerate all possible sets and uh, select the optimal one, but it uh, leads to a very large search space. How to avoid uh, low tier? C how to avo avoid uh, such explosion? Last, when there are tasks covered by several SCN, how to guarantee a task is not repeatedly offloaded? To solve the unknown information, we leverage multi-armed bandit. Multi-armed bandit is an online learning framework. This is, this is a model for sequential decision problems. As the picture shows, there are some bandit machines before a person. Each arm has a reward. If we let him draw five times, in order to maximize the total reward, how should he draw these bandits? In each round, he has two choices. 
One is continue to pull the arm with the highest reward in the past. Another is trying other arms that might have higher reward in the future. We use MAB to learn the random process. In general MAB framework, the learner simply aims to maximize the total reward or minimize the regrets without considering any constraints. It doesn't apply to our model. To balance reward and the constraint violation, we introduce adjustable Lagrangian multipliers, lambda, 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 lambda 1 and lambda 2, as shown here. This this, this R denotes the regret of our algorithm. It's a different, it's a different, uh, it's a difference between the Oracle total compound reward and ours. V1 and V2 is the system constraint. System, system is our, is the system constraint violations of our algorithm. Adding Lagrangian multipliers. We construct a new regret uh, function Y. It uh, makes a balance between reward and violations. For each task, uh, it has this regret, uh, regret value. And uh, this value will help make uh, uploading decision. Each task uh, comes with its own context. So there are massive contexts to be learned. To avoid high computing, Complexity. We divide the context space into small hypercubes of a similar context. For, for, for each hypercube, for each hypercube, we maintain a weight. This weight is calculated based on the aforementioned regret value. Therefore, therefore. Each task has a corresponding hypercube. We estimate its selection probability according to its hypercube's weights. To avoid a task to be rapidly offloaded, we design our algorithm to give a collaborative task offloading solution among all SCM. According to system model, we construct a weighted bipartite graph based on all task selection probabilities. Based on this graph, we make offloading decision in a gradient manner. This is the frame, framework of our algorithm. At the beginning, make context partition and initialize with and other parameters. For each SCN, based on its hypercube's weight, calculate its task sele selection probability. Then grad algorithm makes a, makes a collabor collaborative offloading decisions for all SCM. Each SCM select and process tasks. According to feedback of the completed tasks, we, up we update the estimated parameters, Lagrangian multipliers, and hypercubes weights for each SCM. This updated value will be used in the next time slot. Then we look at the algorithm analysis and the performance. We, we prove the regrets and the violations of our algorithm are sublinear with respect to time span. It means our algorithm converts to the optimal task of loading decisions over time and has a optimal performance when time span is sufficiently large. In our simulation, we set 10,000 time slots, 30 small cell loads. In the coverage area of each SCN, there are 35 to 100 tasks, and each SCN can support up to 20 wireless devices. Here are some performance metrics in our simula simulation. The first is cumul cumulative compound reward violation. Second is per time slot compound reward or violation. 
and the, the third is performance ratio. The performance ratio shows the ratio between total reward and violations. This is our simulation results. LFSC is our algorithm. Oracle is the benchmark. It has a priori knowledge of the entire system. In its time slot, Oracle makes the best of loading strategy and the system constraints. Figure one is the cumulative compound reward over time. It shows that the cumulative compound reward of our algorithm is almost identical to, the, to that of Oracle at, time slot, at each time slot. To get more details, we look at figure two. In the first few time slots, the per time slot compound reward of our algorithm is slightly larger than that of Oracle. It is beca it's because our algorithm is in an unknown air environment at the beginning. As time increases, it's learning from history observation. Therefore, its per time slot compound reward is decreasing. Figure figure three shows that shows figure three shows that for each time slot, our algorithms cumulative variation of the system constraint is always the lowest. Figure four is the per performance ratio over time. After around 2000 time slots, our algorithm has a significantly better performance ratio compared to other algorithms. It strikes a balance between gleaning reward and curbing violations. Finally, let's summarize conclusions. We started task of loading in 5G small cell networks and pro proposed an online learning based solution framework. We leveraged and maybe technique to learn the best selection, to, to learn the best selection strategy while considering resource capacity and the QS requirements. We proved that our algorithm achieved achieve sublinear bonds for both regret and validations. The efficiency of our algorithm is verified by both is verified about by both theoretical and uh, theoretical analysis and uh, simulation studies. My presentation is over. Thank you for listening.